Good afternoon, we have the latest video update on Tropical Storm Haikwe as well as on Severe Tropical Storm Kirogi over the Northern Pacific. Today is the 9th of August and yes, you can still continue to monitor Tropical Storm Haikwe over the east uh, eastern China, last located approximately 430 kilometers west of Shanghai. Maximum sustained winds have uh, decreased now to 65 kilometers per hour with gusts of up to 95, so barely a tropical storm now. Highway is currently moving west northwestward at 10 kilometers per hour. Uh, this we are expecting the system to uh, continue deteriorating. However, we are still seeing some heavy rains and a pretty much a very organized system uh, on the satellite. And you can also see in this infrared image we are still seeing those curved convection. Um, the center and the core of the system is still pretty much intact here. Although the convection has weakened uh, the uh, northeastern side of the storm, seeing another flare up, uh, probably enhanced by the surface convergence, surface friction uh, in this area. So, unfortunately, um, and the system is also slow moving, so unfortunately, more rains for eastern China. Uh, current warnings we still have yellow warning for rainstorm, although CMA have now downgraded the warning to a blue warning. Expecting winds of uh, less than typhoon strength. On some stations, still reporting winds around 40 to 60 kilometers per hour, but obviously a far cry from what they had uh, about two days ago. Uh, rainfall reports also ranging from around uh, 200 millimeters today, 100 to 200 millimeters across um, Shenzhen and also Jiangsu province, and uh, that combined with the rainfall totals in the past two days some stations could possibly have reached the 400 and even 500 millimeter mark so some heavy rains falling across eastern china as well however the latest radar image shows the um, much of the rains have now moved west along with haikwei the bulk now is over the province of anhui and um, we are also seeing rains across northern jiangxi and also here across the province of hubei and also some bands of rain uh, rains moving across uh, Jiangsu. Rains have pretty much ended for the most part here in Shanghai and also Fujian and uh, Shenzhen. Although we are still seeing some isolated thunderstorms and light rain showers here as well. Um, the bad news here is that Haikoi is forecast to slow down and uh, basically stall over uh, the province of Anhui here in eastern China. So adding more rainfall. Uh, in the next 24 to 36 hours. Uh, some areas also here actually in uh, Hubei province and uh, northern Jiangxi now starting to report, report rainfall amounts of uh, 50 to 100 millimeters. So as the rain moves uh, slowly across these provinces, expect more rains possibly around 200 millimeters according to the um, China Meteorological Administration in the next two days over here. The is expected to uh, slowly dissipate uh, the rains winding down probably in the next three days or so. However, the, sis uh, the JMA is still expecting the system to move very slowly to the west. Now, it will begin interacting with a uh, trough of low pressure moving from uh, northern China moving to the east, and that could pick up the system. We have been talking about this for a while about how the remnants of Haikwei could eventually move across to the east and eventually affect uh, the Korean Peninsula. Computer models still show that, however, again, you're not expecting the system to intensify one once it hits water. Um, but still, rainfall uh, still a possibility across the Korean Peninsula and even into um, Japan by early next week, so stay developments uh, on that as well. Now moving on to Tropical Storm Kyrgyz, again still over the Northern Pacific, around uh, 1,200 kilometers east of Japan right now. And the system has maintained a very good organization here in the past three days. We did expect the system to weaken, but in fact it has actually strengthened according to the latest JMA analysis. It is now a severe tropical storm with winds of around 95 kilometers per hour with gusts of up to 130. Um, now the convection is uh, pretty much situated around the center of the storm, which is a good, although um, the cloud tops have warmed a bit and um, the system is forecast to uh, weaken and this time, uh, it is for real this time around, this system 
we'll uh, begin. We can uh, perhaps approach the islands of Kuril, uh, northeast of Hokkaido, uh, late tomorrow, pr pr perhaps Saturday morning, as a very weak tropical storm or a tropical depression. Um, system is very small in terms of diameter so we're not really expecting uh, widespread eff effects from it aside from maybe uh, increased wave heights across the eastern coast of Honshu and also Hokkaido perhaps some rainfall uh, affecting Hokkaido and much of Kuril uh, but in terms of stormy or damaging effects not really expecting much from this system. In the western pacific where then we have tropical storm Haiquei over eastern China weakening still bring heavy rains over there we have tropical storm Kirogi now over northern pacific perhaps moving into the Kuril islands late tomorrow we also wa we are also watching a tropical wave uh, near Palau um, it has brought rains around 50 to 80 millimeters over in Koror that's in Palau there's also weak circulation just west of Guam and computer models are developing this system into possibly weak cyclone uh, by the middle of next week still a lot still lots of time to sort things out here But uh, just keep in mind that computer models do continue to show and hint of a possible cyclone development in th the next few days here And we are also finally we are also watching the con continuous effects of the southwest monsoon across Luzon um, Some good news here is uh, rains have pretty much ended across uh, Metro Manila Although we are still seeing rains across northern and central Luzon and actually even into um, Taiwan as Haiquei uh, slowly winds, uh, slowly weakens over eastern China. And you can see in this uh, satellite loop, again, those rains are starting to spread northward, making their way into Taiwan. We have reports already of around 50 to 100 millimeters being reported across uh, counties here in Taiwan. So we may not see the torrential rainfall that uh, fell in uh, Manila Taiwan could still uh, should still expect uh, roughly around 100 to even 200 millimeters of rain especially along the mountainous areas in the next two to three days as for Metro Manila much of the rain stuff pretty much subsided uh, again the axis of the uh, southwest monsoon continues to shift slowly to the north so expect clear skies ahead. In fact, we are seeing much better conditions across Metro Manila. Those of um, sunshine actually in in the parts of the metro, and also here, the latest uh, traffic uh, cam from uh, MMDA showing you very um, clear traffic and also dry roads, uh, pretty much signaling the end of the continuous rains here. Now, unfortunately, uh, there are still rains across central and northern Luzon. We are still seeing some thunderstorms and widespread heavy rains across uh, the provinces of Sambales, moving into Tarlac, Pampanga, Bataan, Bulacan, and also Nueva Ecija. Those rains will continue to move in from the west uh, in the next 24 to even 36 hours. And also some, uh, some isolated thunderstorms could still pop up and it's still very possible for uh, Metro Manila and nearby areas. But again, it should be a welcome relief and those rains, if they do form, should not be as long-lasting and not as heavy as we've seen in the past few days. And with that, dams across in and around Metro Manila are starting to uh, signs of improvement, although again, we are still seeing La Mesa Dam and also Ipo Dam uh, release releasing water. La Mesa Dam still in overflow. Uh, that has been going on the past two days actually so uh, water still gushing down from the La Mesa watershed unfortunately the trends do show that much of the dams are now uh, experiencing dec a decrease a continuous decrease with that in terms of their water level and we should see more improvements in the coming days as I said the rains should continue to let up across much of uh, central Luzon that said, continue to remain vigilant. R uh, rainfall warnings have been dropped, but Pagas is still uh, urging residents to and remain cautious as isolated thunderstorms are still possible. Continue to keep um, watching the uh, uh, the television, especially the major networks we are which are giving live updates. If you need uh, information on um, evacuation or even donation, if you are planning to, to and also um, more importantly, school cancellations. Um, there are still municipalities that are uh, pretty much flooded, uh, although much of the metro again remains uh, seeing improved uh, 
uh, improving conditions. So um, probably uh, more schools and universities are going to open tomorrow. And we have the um, Atlantic update, a brief Atlantic update here as uh, Ernesto again making landfall over the Yucatan Peninsula now moving into the Bay of Campeche. Could perhaps make another landfall here in Mexico uh, later tonight or into tomorrow as a week as a strong tropical storm or possibly even a hurricane depending on uh, intensification as it moves across uh, the uh, warm waters of the Bay of Campeche. Uh, for more updates here you can go to our affiliate20storms.com for the latest. And that ends our video update for today. And continue to monitor the developments in your area. Again, watch the news for the latest updates. We are also giving live updates on our westernpacificweather.com. We also have links uh, for the important hotline numbers and also uh, for the Red Cross Philippines if you are willing to donate and if you have images or videos you want to share us, feel free to email us at philippineweather at yahoo.com or at westpacweather at gmail.com. Take care, guys.